tell me that Columbus landed here in Puerto Rico in 1493. I follow them a few years later, 1942 to be exact. Like Columbus, I was in the service of my country, except he volunteered. Me, I was drafted. Freestyle or dog paddle, the island of Puerto Rico is about a thousand miles swim southeast of Miami, and it's part of the United States. And just as it does in the mainland, Old Glory hits the top of the pole every morning here in San Juan, the capital. Incidentally, my name is Charles Gray. Most people just call me Chick. This was my house. And this was my dog, Jake's. We'd raised him from a pup. This was Cora, my wife. I often wondered why she stuck it out so long. Five years and tore on some of the lace off the Valentine. And this was me, Charles Graham. Just another one of those guys who'd carefully engaged the right chaplain and married the wrong girl. And this was Wednesday, just another day. Cora usually drove into work with me every morning. She always had something important to do. It was either the beauty parlor or a swim at the beach, maybe a strenuous game of bridge. I didn't drive all the way in that morning. It seemed that this was the day Cora had to go to the hairdressers. I stopped near San Cristobal and let her take the car. I got the usual so long from Jiggs and strangely a larger than usual one from Cora. And since Cora was gonna be busy, I also got stuck with the grocery list. Our office was over on Marina Street. My partner and I rented a couple of rooms in the bank building. Cox and Graham, the Colgram system, that was us. And this was Buster, my partner, also my brother-in-law. Before the Army shipped us overseas, we'd been stationed here in Puerto Rico, and it was Buster's idea for us to come back to the island and set up shop. Our business was to keep the books of outfits too small to hire a bookkeeper. And that's the way it went. Another day, another dollar. I was tired and hungry, and I was in a hurry to get home, and I'd ask Cora to pick me up at the office. Usually, she was right on time. I couldn't figure why it should be different today. It was just another day, just another Wednesday. Nothing special to remember it by, except it was the last of its kind. waiting an hour. Why didn't you come and meet me? What, is there anything wrong? Are you sure you have the right number? Who did you want to speak to? Oh, look, cut the comedy, Cora. I know your voice. I'm tired and I'm not in the mood for bum jokes. Will you come on down and pick me up? Cora, have you been drinking? See here, this has gone far enough. Well, that's what I think, too. the idea. What's the matter with you two? Hey, Cora, I thought I asked you to do something about those ice trays. Every time I want some ice, I have to use a hammer and a... Well, for 
crying out loud. Hey, what is this? Honey, I don't like that. I'm a twin. Mother should have told me. It's amazing. Yeah, hey, that... It's like looking in a mirror. Oh, wait a minute. Who are you? Honey, pal. I was just gonna ask you the same question. Chick, this must be the man who called on the phone. Do you know him? No. I never saw him before in my life. Chick, are you sure you haven't got a brother? Of course not. Who are you, bud? Okay, okay. Look, you've had your laugh. Now let me on it. Cora, who is this guy? I don't think this is funny. Hey, are you the joker who phoned? Chick, what if you hadn't been here tonight? Suppose... Suppose he just walked in. Cora, you're kidding. What kind of a bum joke is this? Look, pal, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Look, this is my house. Huh. The guy's drunk. Look, but the gag is over. Now get out of here. So you just walked in and made yourself comfortable. Get out, pal. You're asking for trouble. You figured you'd just move in and take my place. I said, get out of here. You know, there were always some parts of my face that I didn't like. But I never had a chance to change them until now. Jake's lie down. Don't make any such moves. Lie down, Jiggs. Jiggs. There, boy. That's it. Lie down. Cora, you know me. You're my wife. You know who I am. Chick, he's trying to palm himself off as you. Take it easy, Cobra. Cobra? Where'd he get that? He even knows your pet name for me. Buster, you know me. We, we went through a war together. What are you trying to peddle, mister? I think we better turn him over to the cops. This guy's nuts. I've had enough of this. Get out of my house. Beat it. Oh, no, you don't. If you think you can... Well, I... Now get out of here. Something wrong, senor? You bet there is. So? Well, I just got kicked out of my own house. You see, officer? Who are I'm you? Just... I'm Charles Graham. I live three blocks back on Santa Teresa Avenue. I was just coming home this evening when... Get I... in the car, huh? Patience, senor. You will have time to talk. Oh, this is my house. I see you got him, officer. This is the man. <laughs> I certainly hope there's no more like him. Come in. Officer, I never saw the guy before in my life. He just walked in here and acted like he owned the joint. Started to talk crazy, so... Oh, we weren't so sure. That's right, officer. So we called the police to be on the safe side. You did the right thing. And now you, senor, what have you to say? Look, officer, this is my house. That's my wife right there. This is her brother, Buster. Buster and I are business partners. I don't know who this guy is, but I'm soon gonna find out. Same way he talked before. Why all the talk? Let's get him out of here. Look, officer. Chick and I went through a war together. I'd know him anywhere. I think you'll admit that his own wife ought to know him. You wish to make a charge, senor? Oh, I don't want to get the poor guy in any trouble. Maybe he should be under a doctor's care. Oh, it's just so he doesn't bother us anymore. We will see. He doesn't bother you again. Come with me, please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can prove who I am. Here. Oh. So that's what happened to my AGO card. How long is my billfold today? Or somebody lifted it. 
Uh, I suppose you lost your signature and your fingerprints right along with it. You will write your name, please. Uh, I can't close my hand. I dog bit it. The dog bit it? Whose dog is it? It's my dog. I raised him from a pup. Why? Well, I don't know what got into him. So your own dog bit you? Come, senor, we go. Let's settle this once and for all. Here, officer. I'll write my name. Very well. Either signature is proof enough. They are the same. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He could have practiced my signature, but he couldn't have copied the fingerprints off of that card. The evidence is very strong, senor. Please come with me. Wait, officer. It might help if we convince him. Sometimes these delusions... Yeah, uh, where's the impaired car? I'll get it. Some people have to be hit over the head with an ax. Well, never mind. I'm satisfied. No, it'll only take a moment. It might help him. See if we can destroy one part of the delusion. You must admit, senor, these are the same. Oh, you're blind. Take a look at that. See for yourself. Is it coming back to you? Do you, do you remember who you really are? Cora, you know who I am. Do we have to go mm. through this again? If you really look at them closely, officer, you'd see a world of difference. All right, senor, you come with me. No more arguments, please. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, officer. This, what, this whole thing is a frame-up. My friend, you said the senora was your wife, did you not? Yeah. And the other one, he is your brother-in-law and business partner? That's right. And the dog, he is your dog? Of course he's my dog. He is a very funny thing, senor. I have a dog too, but you know something? When I go into my house, my dog, he does not bite me. Well, oh, no, no, you've got to give me a chance to figure this out. No, see, 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 I will give you the chance, if you please. Go. They're taking him in now. Be there. Don't worry. Chick Graham will never know what hit him. did the army pay you to train dogs to be killers? Well, then, for 50 grand, is it asking too much to train one dog to kill Chick Graham? Now, get this, Meadows. It took me five years to plan this deal, five years, waiting for just the right setup. And we muff this one. We don't get a rain check. Now, find him. Bert, does it have to be 
like to be the dog. Well, this is very touching. The devoted little wife is worried about her husband. But that dog, it's horrible. Can't we just let the police take care of Chick? Are you out of your mind? Now, get this straight, Cor. It's either Chick or us. As long as that guy is on the loose, we're walking a tightrope. If the police pick him up, they're bound to ask questions. And if there's even the slightest suspicion that he's Chick Graham, you got a pretty throat, Cor. Don't put a rope around it. Jumps up. See? And I have to pull it down again. Pull it again. See? I have to pull it down again. I have to see that. See? Yeah. Tenemos que interrumpir esa transmisión para darles una noticia de última hora. What happened to the music? Albert Rand, quien asesinó un mensajero hey, um, de Miami. What's he talking about anyway? Well, the police are looking for a guy named Albert Rand. Oh, What yeah. did he do? He swiped 800,000 bucks. Gee. Se ofrece una recompensa de 10 mil dólares a la persona que dé información y conduzca al arresto de Albert Rand, tratando de aparecer como Charles Graham, quien es un residente de la ciudad de San Juan. Albert Rand fue detenido esta noche. La policía lo arrestó al recibirse una... Is there, is there a reward for that guy? $10,000. Albert Rand That's a well tiene 27 huh? años. Yeah. What's he look like? Six feet tall, weighs about 185 pounds, gray eyes, brown hair closely cut. Sounds cute. Ahora, te anudamos nuestro programa de música bailable. Do you want another one, sir? No. Hey! Oh, didn't mean to make you jump, Mr. Graham. Remember me? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Grant, isn't it? That's right, Al Graham. Yeah, I remember. Now, you gave me your card last week. You uh, tried to sell me an adding machine. And you won't be making a mistake, Mr. Graham. Why, with our machine, you'll save enough in six months to pay it off instead of... Uh, have a drink? No, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm so... You'll have to work on my partner, Buster. He's the one who has charge of the buying. Okay, what would be a good time? Uh, well, at the office, uh, any time, uh, well, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Right, 10 o'clock. Oh, by the way, what are you interested in, the manual or the electric model? Oh, the electric. The electric, eh? All right, see you in the morning, Mr. Oh, Graham. Right. Charles Graham. Today you're Albert Rand, a bank robber, a killer. Okay, so you didn't do it. Can you prove it? After all, he's got your signature, your fingerprints, your face. Who's gonna prove you, Chick Graham? Good old Buster saw to it you stayed in the office while he made all the outside contacts. Yeah. You need a friend, mister. What's your name? But what friend? Little wife Cora never wanted to have anybody around the house. She kept you all to herself because she loved you so much. Yeah. You're all alone, Chick. No one left to turn to. Except Mary Davis. Sure, Mary Davis. The girl you never should have forgotten in the first place. the last time. Well, it was the night you were telling me all about your troubles. You had a fight with your wife, remember? A fight with my wife? Psh, that could happen any day. Oh. By the way, I saw your picture today in the newspaper. Funny thing, he sure looks like you. 
sure does. Uh, say, Happy, do you mind if I use your phone? No, go ahead. Help yourself, Mr. Graham. but this is important. I gotta talk to your sister. She isn't here. Well, who is it? It's Chick Graham. Let me talk to him. You've had enough trouble from this guy. You walked out on your ones. What do you want to do? Look for it again? Walt, give me the phone. Hello, Chick. What do you want? Mary, I gotta see you right away. I, it's very important. Where do you want me to meet you? All right, I'll be there. What do you want to do? Get your picture of the paper, too? Now, don't be a fool, Mary. You stay out of this mess. Well, uh, where's your pride? Guy walks out on you, you don't hear from him in four years. And one phone call, you go running to him. Sorry, I, uh, I was thinking of something. Sure is a funny deal, him trying to take your place. Yeah, sure got me whipped. I know I'm a little early, but I thought I'd go up and see your partner about the machine. Machine? Yeah. You know, the one we were talking about? Oh, yes, uh, uh, of course. Oh, uh, what time did you say would be best to see him, your partner? Why, uh, any time in the late afternoon. Oh, well, I guess I am a little too early, then. I'll be back later. Oh, uh, by the way, which bottle did you say you liked? Oil or electric? Uh, the, uh, oil. Fine, fine. I'll see you later, Mr. Graham. Didn't you say hello to a guy? Oh, you were walking on the other side of the street. Walt didn't want you to come to see me today, did he? I, I guess he thinks I'm kind of a heel. Don't resent him too much, Chick. He's just being the big brother. I've been reading about you in the papers. They haven't caught the other fellow yet. No, not yet. Hello, Grant. Um, say, about that machine, we might be interested, but we're very busy today. I'd like a couple of words with you, Mr. Ram. Ram? <laughs> what is this, a gag? Chick, you remember Al Grant? He's been trying to sell us an adding machine. Oh, yeah, sure. Hello there. How are you? I'm sorry to be so foggy today. You know, so many things have been happening to me. Don't stall, Rand. I know who you are. I saw the guy that was supposed to be you last night. He knew all about the adding machine. This morning, you didn't. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you don't understand, but I think the police would. You've got a cute deal here, and you just might pull it off. But you won't, if the cops start looking the right way. And I see here, Grant, if you think there's anything going... Shut up! What do you want? Half. Don't Shut nuts. up, I said! So that's all you want, huh? Just half. Silence comes high these days. And after all, I'm leaving you 400,000. Very thoughtful of you. Well, look, let's go upstairs and talk this over. Look, Rand, I'll pick the spot where we talk it over. 
Looks like we got a partner. You're not gonna let this guy get away with it. I said it looks like we got a partner. Where do we meet? You know the anchorage near the airport? I can find it. There'll be a boat there named the Lucky Day in an hour. All right, Mr. Graham, see you around. They say everybody has a double. Mary, uh, look, there's something I, I want you to know about us, about why I stopped writing. It's all in the past. No, I want you to know this. Your letters, they stopped coming a few months after I went overseas. I wrote you every day. Yeah, I wrote you every day, too. But you see, Buster stopped your letters. Buster? Yeah, my... <laughs> my friend. He was our mail clerk in the Army, and now he's my business partner. Why should he want to do anything like that? He wanted me to marry his sister. I know now. I can find it all out. He's part of a scheme. What scheme? Well, I don't understand you. Mary, you see, I'm the man the police are looking for. What? Yeah, this Albert Rand, he's taken my place. He's living in my house. He's Charles Graham now, and there's nothing I can do to prove that he's not. Chick, that's fantastic. After all, your own business partner knows I told you, you, Buster's in on it, too. Well, what about your wife? No, no. Cora's in on it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes me the prize sap of the year or something, doesn't it? Chick, I'm sorry. I, di I didn't want to get you involved in this, Mary. It's just that I, I had to come to you. This, you're the only one that I can trust. Of course, I'll help you, Chick. And Walt will, too. What do you want us to do? I don't know. First thing I got to do is prove that I'm the real Charles Graham. But there must be some proof. People that know you. Or letters you've written. No, no, it isn't that easy. Buster made the contacts. I did the office work. That was part of their scheme to keep me out of circulation. Now, as long as I'm Albert Wren, I'm a walking alibi for them, and you can bet your life they'll do everything they can to keep it that way. Suppose someone's... That's what I like, gentlemen, promptness. Transactions of this kind must be conducted on a business-like basis. Now, if you'll be kind enough to step out of the car, Well, why don't we talk business? My office, gentlemen. After you. I, um, I think we better discuss this out here on the deck. Suit yourself. You're the nervous type, aren't you? Don't be funny. Just remember I'm running this show. I'm free boat cart. <laughs> nice boat. You must do okay for yourself. Belongs to a friend of mine. Oh, is your friend in on this? Do I look that dumb? A half a million bucks. No, it's not my boat, but I'm thinking of buying it. That's the trouble with me. I have such expensive tastes. And until today, such a very small income. These are bonds, pal. You can't cash hot bonds dollar for dollar. There are guys who will give you 50%. And a quarter of a million ain't hay. All my life I've been waiting for this setup. And then you gentlemen came along. Yes, sir, I think this is my lucky day. Look, let's stop being social, huh? Get down to business. Very well. Let's see the bonds. You don't think we carry them around in our pockets, do you? Well, you... You promised to bring them with you. I told you to. Well, your share is in the locker at the airport. Here's the key. You gentlemen realize if the bonds aren't there, then I'll call the police. Let's get out of here. This guy scares me. Adios. Owen oh, Ram. The next time you have a double, you better make it a martini.
I'm a pretty simple guy. So to me, this is all kind of hard to follow. Cora's a crook, Buster's a crook. You married Cora, you're in business with Buster. Are you that dumb? Buster stopped the letters. Of course, the fact that you met Cora had nothing to do with it. Well, maybe I shouldn't have come here. Well, maybe you shouldn't have. I made this in our laps. All right, okay, well. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? What's it to you? Well, you got any money? No, that's my business. Come on. Let's, let's have a drink. I guess there isn't any. I'll let that get No, don't bother. It's no bother. Be back in a minute. Can you help? You can help with this. Remember some of the Sunday dinners? <laughs> Do I? Hey, remember the time I dropped the chicken on the floor? <laughs> yeah, you were a big help. <laughs> One thing I don't understand, Chick, is the business of the fingerprints. Oh, uh, on the AGO car. Well, that, that was a cinch. They probably had a phony one printed up. After that, it was easy. Fran puts his fingerprints on the card, Cora gets to my wallet, conveniently makes the change, and I'm now out of it. But your signature. Well, a guy can practice a lot of penmanship in four years. Hope you like the rum. Oh, sure, fine. With soda? Good. Yeah, but well, think it. How'd they get your old dog to bite you? My dog didn't bite me. You think they switch dogs, too? What else? Wouldn't be too hard to find another dog that looked like Jake's. Oh, get another saucer, will you, Jake? Figure they try to get the dog to kill you? Oh, no, I don't see how they're going to figure that. Jake's was just a little nut. Wait a minute. The dog got inside police headquarters. Shh. He was big enough and mean enough. And what better place than outside police headquarters? to look accidental. And with me out of the way... Chick, you mean it wasn't the same dog at both places? No, 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 no. Chick's was just a cute little mutt. The dog outside the police station was a big dog, one of those Dobermans. Doberman? Yeah. Is that the kind with short hair and ears clipped to a point? Yeah. Was the guy with a dog like that outside the apartment? please. Put it in the box and I'll answer by phone. Looks like the same dog. Yeah. Hey, where that guy's going? Chick, what are you going to do? I don't know. The dog's going away. No, no, he's watching the back door, too. Yeah, that's a well-trained dog. Bert, the telegram gang didn't work. I couldn't get in. King? He's waiting outside. 
Get this straight. When we get downstairs, you go to the back door. Open it and close it, see? Slam it good and hard. In the meantime, I'll be ducking out front. Where are you going, Chick? Well, I'll, I'll call you. I'll, uh, how can I get you during the day? At the hotel. Yeah. Okay, what, uh, what's this for? Oh, how much do I need that to? Yeah, all right, I might help. Well, okay, let's go. World Airways, Miss Davis speaking. Chick. The police are getting too hot, Mary. I gotta get off the island. Chick, if you think that's best. Meanwhile, well. If I can get back to the States, I can lose myself for a while and figure this thing out. Okay, take care of yourself. Please let me hear from you. You will. And this time I haven't got a mail clerk. Goodbye, Mary. enough sense to realize that getting off the island wouldn't be easy. Everywhere I looked, I saw the police. Fortunately, they didn't see me. say about chartering a plane? I'm your man. When do you... Uh, how soon do you have to start? Well, as soon as possible. Well, um, it'll take a little time. I have to finish tuning the motor. Just make yourself comfortable, and when I'm ready, I'll call you. All right. Uh, I got a few things I can do, so uh, I'll see you in an hour. Fine. I'll have her ready. <laughs> Now, look here, now, you made a mistake. Yeah, I'm not... Uh-huh. I made a mistake, all right, the day I met you. I want to talk to you. Well, I can't now. See, I've got... I said I want to talk to you. Now, listen, Bert. You better be nice to me. Very nice. All I have to do is yell cops, and I've got $10,000. Now, do we talk? Oh, uh, yes, we talk. Meet me at my place. Well, here, do you still uh, live in the same place? Yeah, the same place. Oh, well, how am I supposed to get in? Well, use your key. My, oh, well, no, I, I lost it. Uh... Mm -hmm. You probably threw it away. Here, take mine. I've got to get rid of this tape. I'll see you in an hour.
Uh, hello? No, she isn't. Uh, she'll, she'll be back in a few minutes. Who is this? over there. Yeah, sure, of course. I... Look there. Who are you? Well, it was worth a try. I didn't catch the name. Charles Graham. Well, you sure look like him. What are you doing here anyway? I'm trying to get a lead on Bert Rand. What's that got to do with me? You know him. Well, there's no law against knowing somebody, is there? Look, mister, Albert Rand walked out on me six months ago. I don't know where he is, and I don't care. I'm going to get my slippers. I can tell you where he is. Where? He's with my wife. What are you talking about? You better sit down. You've got an education coming. What did you mean, Bert is with your wife? Well, Bert Rand is me. He's Chick Graham. Talk sense, will you? Well, I'm the man the police are looking for. Bert Rand is living in my house. They think he's me. I know, but the papers said the that papers, he... papers, yeah. Well, the papers are wrong. What do you want to know? Well, how did you meet him? The same way I met you. He just happened. Didn't you ever ask him where he came from or what he did for a living? Sure. I asked him a lot of questions, but I never got any answers. I figured whatever he was doing was his own business. Well, I can tell you what he was doing. He was busy spotting me, getting ready to take my place, learning to act like me, to talk like me. But he couldn't be seen around town. He needed a hideout. This was the perfect setup. Bert was in love with me. Are you trying to kid me yourself? Look, you're not a bad-looking girl, Juanita. But as far as Bert Rand was concerned, the most attractive thing about you was this apartment. You just went along with the furniture. Look, Juanita, look, you're a smart kid. You can put the pieces together. You were on a sleigh ride. What do you want me to do? Uh, go to the police and testify that I'm not Bert Rand. Can I count on you? Sure. That's all I want to know. Stay right there. Don't move. Well, well, where are you going? To get the other half of my alibi. Chick, I thought you left the island. No, no, the police had me blocked. Let me in, huh? All right. we've been waiting for. I found a girl who knows Albert Rand and she'll identify him for us. That's wonderful. Where is she? She's back at the apartment waiting for us now. We can go in my car. I'll get the keys. I hope you're right, Chick. For her sake. Oh, I'm sure I am. And hey, thanks for trying to understand. Okay, let's go.
Was her name Juanita? Yeah. She's dead. Buenos dias, Senor Graham. Hi, ah, Happy. I didn't think you'd be open this hour. I open every day at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, how's that? My wife gets up at 6. <laughs> Coffee, Senor Graham? Yeah, yeah, black. Looks like if you hadn't been home all night. That's right. Fight with your wife? Yeah, my wife doesn't understand me. <laughs> Got a match, Chick? At your service, senor. Oh, hello, doggy. Nice doggy. Looks like a smart dog. Does it bite? Gentle as a baby. Wouldn't hurt a soul. Something to eat, senor? No, thanks. Uh, I'll just wait for Mr. Gray. We've been looking for you, chick. Yeah, I know. What's the matter? The dog on a diet? Oh, no. We uh, work it this way. I tell him two words. The first word primes him. On the second word, he tears you through. He's primed. Now, when you finish with the coffee, I'd like you to come along with me. Any objections? Oh, I guess not. So, you, you a dog trainer? For 18 years. The little dog that bit me, the one that looked like Jake's. Did you train him, too? That's right. Where's Jake's now? Well, let me see. I don't remember where we buried him. That Doberman wasn't here in years. And remember, just one word. I think we better leave. Just going in for a few cans of beer, Chick. The dog will keep you company, so just sit back and relax. <laughs> The dog's watching him. All right. Out at my place. I'll see you there. than a guy you owe five bucks to. After you. Sit down there. Save her. Well, what are we waiting for? Relax. Sure you don't want a beer? No. You want to play a little gin? You ain't very sociable. Where do you fit into the deal? Throw a friend of mine. Who? Him. Bert Rand thought he was a pretty smart dog. Then when he found out that I was a smart fella too, we became partners. When was that? 
Oh, about the time that he decided to get Cora to marry you. He figured that... Don't talk too much. Who's he gonna tell it to? Anybody want a beer? No. Neither do you. Let's cut out the dialogue. What are we waiting for? Let's get it over with. My old pal, Buster. Shut up. You shut up. But the cops are digging. If they find out he's alive... Give me patience. Look, stupid. I'm handling this. Yeah. And the way you're handling it, we'll all end up in a jug. Is it a family quarrel, or can anybody get in it? My apologies, pal. Oh, uh, did you have a question? Yes, I have. Why haven't we killed you? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, check, I'll tell you. The first night was the time to kid you. I'd already proven that I was Chick Graham and that you were Albert Rand. But you got lucky, so we missed you. Then you stumbled onto Juanita. Her you didn't lose. Oh, incidentally, I've been meaning to thank you for answering the phone in her apartment that night. If I hadn't found out you two had met, would have been very embarrassing. So bad in a way. Juanita wasn't a bad kid. And now it's my turn again. Yes? Only you left company. Who? Who do you think? Who else is left to identify? Larry Davis and her brother. doesn't know anything about this. Oh, yes, she does. If the cops were to find your body tomorrow, how long do you think it would take for Mary and her brother to get to the cops? But what could they prove? Who well, knows? You just start letting the cops look in the right direction. There's no telling what they're liable to prove. This time, we've got to close the deal right. We've got to nail it shut and bend over the nails. And check. Just so you won't be lonesome. I'm going to call Miss Davis and her brother and invite them over here. Then if, or rather, when the cops discover that Mary and Walt have been shot, they start looking for Albert Rand. Incidentally, that's you, pal. And why are they looking for you? Well, when Walt's body has been discovered, they find a few of the stolen bonds in his pocket. Very interesting. And what happens to me? Well, you run into a little tough luck. You get into Mary's car to get away from the scene of the crime. You can't stand dead bodies. You're in such a hurry, you have a little accident. The car goes over a cliff. The cops find you and the car and the gun. And for a little added evidence, you can have a few of the bonds in your pocket, too. Junior here going to get a day off? Yes, he's been pretty busy lately. People might start suspecting him. Well, pal, what do you think of the idea? Neat, huh? Sounds great. There's only one thing wrong with it. It won't work. And why not? Because Mary Davis left Puerto Rico this morning. We'll see. Davis, please. Hello, Mary. Chick. Uh, I thought you'd left Puerto Rico. Oh, well, it's just as well. We finally got a break. I ran into Larry Sharp, an old buddy of mine in the Army, who can clear up the whole thing. I want to see you and Walt right away. All right, Chick. Where? Oh, I can't. Something's wrong with the car. How about Isla Verde? Oh, I can take a bus. All right, and I'll call Walt and tell him to meet us there. Okay. Walt, Mary, Albert Rand just called me. Yes, I'm sure. Try to imitate Chick's voice and I could tell the difference. 
He wants us to meet him at East Laverne. I told him we would. No, Walt, I'm not crazy. But Mary... You're a friend of Chick's. Your name is Larry Shaw. You pick him up at Isla Liberty and you bring him back here. Well, why don't you go yourself? Look, we're close to the finish. We can't take any chances. If the cops see me, they're liable to pick me up thinking I'm him. Now, no arguments. Get going. Oh. Looks like you're gonna have company. You're lying. See? I'm going down. Sit. Sit. Listen, mister, if you want to live even a little while longer, don't do things like that. I think we better get ready to receive our guests. Cora, you get back to the house, just in case. you to forgive me. But please believe this. I never had any idea it would finish this way. Cut it out, will you? What do you want me to do? Smile sweetly and thank you for the lovely time I had at your party? Well, I know I sound ridiculous and all mixed up, but I, I wish you could understand that I... That you love money? <laughs> sure. You'll have plenty of it, baby. But you'll earn it. Already started earning it. It's been a nightmare. I'd give anything to be out of it. I'm scared of it. It's like it's, it's like having your life on number twelve and a little ball spinning. And then it hits twelve and you're one, but that's not the end. The ball has to spin again. It'll always be spinning. And you've got to win every time. Make it easy on me, chick. Get sore. Hit me or something. Slightly only make it easy on me, Jake. Very, very touching scene. Of course, I had a bit of a shock to see my wife in the arms of another man. Oh, right, baby, come on, let's go. We bring the Davises back here. We better get rid of him. That's easy. We can put him in the bedroom. Yeah, well, he'll be safe there. Certainly he'll be safe. He'll have a bodyguard. Who must be getting rather attached to the dog? <laughs> he can't lose him. <laughs> back here. Davis? Yes? I'm Larry Sharp, a friend of Chick's. Chick? Chick who? <laughs> it's all right, Miss Davis. Chick told me he telephoned you. Where's your brother? Oh, uh, he'll be along in a few minutes. Oh. Well, would you, uh, scared to wait in the car? Well, all right. Very strong. You forget he'll have company. King. Make yourself comfortable.
right now? Yes. This is not Albert Rand. Well, of course I'm not Albert Rand. Now, see here, if you... Wait a minute. Where is Albert Rand? You said he would be here. He knows where he is. Why, oh, this is ridiculous. Officer, I tell you, this is a frame-up. This young lady called me Are up you and... not the brother-in-law of Charles Graham? Well, yes. But what's that got to do with Albert Rand? You tried to get away when you saw us. Why? I tell you, officer, this is a frame-up. You know, you might be right. I think the best thing for us to do is go over and have a talk with Mr. Graham. Move over. Mrs. Graham? Yes? This policeman thinks we're hiding Albert Rand. <laughs> so ridiculous. Do you see your husband home? No. He's at work. Is near the office? I've been trying to explain to these people that he is. Do you there. mind if we come in? No. Nope. Come on in. Bring your friends. Rand. No one accused you of doing that. It was his idea. Buster? Gets too excited. And for no apparent reason. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Except for a man who has nothing to hide, you act very nervous. Don't you think what's been happening to us for the past few days is enough to make anybody nervous? Perhaps. But not enough to try to run away from the police. I told you why I did that. This girl is trying to frame me. Now, just take it easy. And who are you, my dear? My name is Mary Davis. Oh, the girl that Chick went with before he met me? Cora, shut up! That's right. I'm the girl Chick went with before he met you. Chick Graham, not Albert Rand. Did you hear that, Sergeant? Yes, but I don't understand. But don't pay any attention to her. She's in on this, too. She's the one who... Uh, uh, shut up. Go on, Mary. Please go on. The man they claim is Chick Graham never left Fort Douglas. The records will prove that he couldn't possibly have known me. The man she married, the real Chick Graham, was, was stationed here in Puerto Rico before he was shipped overseas. It proves they're lying. How? She just admitted that I went with Chick before he married her. I haven't been back in the States in, in 15 years. Well, now, that's very interesting. Have you anything to say to this? He fooled us, too. Sure. Sure, that's what happened. Rand fooled us, too. We heard he was killed in the war and, and... Cut it out, Buster. You're not fooling anybody. Just didn't come up 12 this time, that's all. Well, what difference does it make? Chick's dead, anyway. What do you mean? Where did this happen? Meadow's house. Peach Road. Near the old fort? Is Rand there? 
Yes.
did. They said that... Sorry to disappoint you. The name is Albert Rand. After Ran and the dog went over the cliff, it didn't take me long to prove who I was. Well, as I said at the beginning, my name is Chick Graham. This is my face. May not be much of a face, but at least it's my own. And now it's exclusive. This is my house, a new one. This is my dog. He's new, too. And, uh, oh, yes. She's new, too. This is my wife. <laughs> 